So uh, we've been talking about what happens if you get injured on the job in Colorado and you find out your employer doesn't carry workers' compensation insurance. What are your options? We're going to talk about the third option, which is the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund. Hi, my name is Britt Morrell. I'm an attorney with Kaplan Morrell. I've been helping injured and disabled workers since 1995. Our attorneys have combined experience of over about 80 years, more or less, helping injured workers in Colorado. And if you've been injured on the job, we would love to be able to help you. Please, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share it, comment below. I will try to answer all the comments on it. And with that, let's dive into it. Okay, so this is the last video that we've had on a three-part series on what happens if you get injured on the job and you find out that your employer, in addition to being a completely lovely person, maybe, or not, is not carrying workers' compensation insurance. And now they're basically saying, eh, sorry, you know, I don't have any money. There is no insurance, you're SOL. Are you in fact SOL? And we we're talking about three things and I'm gonna be, if you stay at the end of the video, I am going to tell you how to find a attorney, what kind of questions I would ask if I were the attorney. And that I'll give to you for free. Just stay at the end and I'll show you how to get that fact sheet. We'll be happy to send it to you for free. So with that, let's talk about the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund. All right, so some background. Again, Colorado law requires all employers to carry what's called workers' compensation insurance. Workers' compensation insurance covers the medical needs, the lost wages, the compensation for the permanent problems that injured workers have if they've been injured on the job. It doesn't matter who's at fault. They don't care who's at fault. It just, were you working? Were you performing a service for your employer? And if so, if you were injured during that, then you are covered by workers' compensation. And you should get relatively quick access to medical care, 100% paid for, lost wages, etc. If everything works out fine, great. But it doesn't matter who's at fault. And that is the law. It's a law that employers carry workers' compensation insurance. It's also the law that well, people can't murder people, but Apparently, people still murder people. And so not surprisingly, often we get calls from injured workers who find out that their employer didn't carry workers' compensation insurance, either because they didn't even try to get workers' compensation insurance, or they stopped paying the premiums and then they ignored all the notices. Um, or sometimes I've even dealt with employers who lied about what kind of business they were in to get workers' compensation insurance. For example, I've had a roofing company. I don't know why. Roofers just seem to be the kind of employer that just always draws my attention and ire. But I had a roofing company basically lie to a workers' compensation insurance company saying, oh, we just provide transportation and interpretation for workers at construction sites. We don't go up on roofs. We don't climb ladders. We're just you know, uh, Satan's translating service. And in fact, what they are is Satan roofing because they're sending their employees up to roof, uh, do roofing work. And the insurance company found out and they revoked their insurance policy based on fraud and they could do that, okay? And that left my client at that time without insurance right away. So what happens? Are you SOL? Are you basically stuck? And you've got a few options and we've talked about them. Number one, you can, if you try to put in links in the prior videos, you can uh, sue the employer for negligence if you can show that the injury occurred because of their negligence. But again, you're still stuck with how do you collect a judgment? Number two is, we've talked about, you can make a claim not against your direct employer, but if a, another company hired your company, your employer to do a, a job that was essential services of, that this employer offered, and I gave an example like a general contractor in a construction site, then you can make a claim against the general contractor's insurance policies. But let's say there is nobody uh, like that and there is no negligence and you're kind of SOL, what can you do? There is now a new option if you were injured after January 1st, 2020 in Colorado with an uninsured employer, and that is you can make a claim against the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund. It is a new program 
started by the state of Colorado through workers' compensation. And essentially what they do is they collect fines and they collect other sources of money to be able to pay benefits to injured workers who are injured on the job, uh, but their employers don't carry workers' compensation. And it sounds great. It's a good program. It's a start, but it's not quite there yet. Give it some more time. And so here are some things to, what you have to do. So number one is you have to file a claim against your employer. You have to file a claim against your employer who doesn't carry workers' compensation. The division will say, guess what? They don't carry workers' compensation. And you then need to file an application for hearing. And you need to go to a hearing. And you need to get an order from a judge saying you've been injured on the job with an uninsured employer. That is your ticket to then go to the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund and say, hey, I need help. I need assistance. I need benefits. Okay. They don't start doing anything. They don't kick in anything until you've done all of that. Okay. So it's not like you get to call them and say, hey, my employer isn't insured. I need medical care. And they'll go, oh, yes, come on in. Let us write the bills, et cetera. Bring the bills in. We'll be happy to write them. No. You've got to go through the whole process, the whole rigmarole of filing a claim, waiting until it's been denied or ignored, then filing an application for hearing, and then going to hearing, proving that you had a work injury to a judge, which if the employer doesn't show up is somewhat easy, and then getting an order from a judge saying you're entitled to benefits and the insurance and the employer doesn't have an insurance company. Once you do all of that, then you can apply to the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund. So that's the process. And then what they do is they will assign you adjuster with a company that adjusts workers' compensation cases, and they will pay for some, but not all, of the benefits that you're entitled to. So what do they pay for and what they don't? Well, one problem, I get why they do it, but it's a problem is they get to change who the treating doctor is. So if you get injured on the job and you're with your personal doctor and your personal doctor is great and they're recommending care and you have a great relationship with them, if you submit your case to the Colorado Uninsured, Fund, Uninsured Employers Fund, they get to switch your doctor and send you to whoever the adjuster at Sedgwick does. And those doctors tend not to be great. We'll see. I haven't yet seen who they've designated in some cases, but they, they could send you to some folks that I wouldn't want to go see at all. Second thing is they don't pay for all the benefits. So what do they pay for? Well, the statute and the rule that created the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund basically says, okay, start collecting money, start collecting money. Anybody who's injured after July 1st, 2020, who gets an order, blah, 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 you have to pay for. But then they list the benefits that they'll pay for in order of priority. And every year, the Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund is supposed to look at what money they have. And as of August 2021, they had about somewhere between two and $3 million in their fund. And they will then declare what benefits they can pay for. And right now, the only thing they're paying for is medical benefits. That's number one. That's top of the list. Number two is funeral benefits. Number three, I believe, is uh, lost wage benefits during treatment. Number four is permanent total disability benefits. Number five is permanent partial disability benefits. But they're not even there. They only have enough money to pay for funeral benefits, which is $7,000 per fatality. So it's, I'm not talking a lot. Number two is they'll pay for medical care. Now, that's good because if you're injured on the job, your number one priority is to get back, get 100%, get healed up, et cetera. So that's not a small thing, but they are in a position to pay for your lost wages. They are in a position to pay for compensating you if you aren't back to 100%. They're, as at least as of August 2021, only paying medical bills, and that's it. Those are some of the good and bad about what Colorado Uninsured Employers Fund does. I think, I may be wrong, if you've been injured on the job with an uninsured employer, 
in Colorado, you need to talk with a lawyer and you need to talk with a lawyer who takes these kinds of cases. Not all uh, attorneys want to take these cases because they require a lot more work. They are a lot more uh, risky in terms of are we actually going to be able to collect. So if you or someone you know has been injured on the job with an uninsured employer or even with an insured employer, please tell them to give us a call. Our names are Kaplan Morrell. We're in a law firm that only does workers' compensation. We've been helping injured and disabled workers in Colorado since 1997. I've been helping injured and disabled workers in Colorado since 1995. We would love to help you. How do you get a hold of us? You can call us at 970-356-9898. You can text us at 970 970- Three five six nine eight nine eight. If you use WhatsApp, you can text us at plus one nine seven zero three five six nine eight nine eight. Come to our website, kaplanmorale.com. We would be happy to help with you. Remember, the initial consult is free. It's confidential, and we uh, offer our services primarily on what's called a contingent fee basis, which means that if we're unable to get you help, you don't have to pay us. We only charge twenty percent of what we get for you. Um, in cases involving insured employers, come talk with us. We'd be happy to help you. And if you stayed till the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe and text us at 970-356-9898 and I will send you a free fact sheet on how to hire a lawyer. This, it tells you the questions I would ask a lawyer if I was wanting to hire, if I was looking for a lawyer to hire on any type of topic. Uh, These questions tell you what kind of questions to ask a lawyer and what answers you should be listening to. And with that, thank you for spending part of your day with me today. Bye.